Do you know what a final walkthrough is? Or what's indicated in the bottom of the purchase and sale as a pre-close viewing? And how this can negatively affect you after you take possession of the house if it's not done correctly? This question and more will be answered in this video, but before we proceed, be sure to subscribe to the channel, press the little bell symbol beside it, and give the video a thumbs up. So essentially, a pre-close viewing is your ability to walk through the house you've purchased, usually the day before the closing, sometimes the early in the morning of the day of closing. So the pre-close viewing allows you the opportunity to take your purchase and sale agreement Essentially, paragraph three would be the most important part about that and see that all the inclusions are present. This would include lawnmowers, appliances, fridge stoves, washers, dryers, and whatever else you asked for and the seller agreed to include. So you want to make sure all that stuff is present and in the same condition it was when you made the offer on the house. In addition to that, some agents will actually check the appliances to make sure the fridges, stoves, dishwashers, washers, dryers, etc. actually work. And of course, at the same time, you're going to determine whether the electricity is actually on, which in some cases, it's not. So these things will be checked, fuel levels for propane tanks, oil tanks, and that sort of thing. So basically, your pre-closed viewing is your ability to view that house in its entirety to make sure everything is just perfect before you sign off and hand over the money to the lawyer or the purchaser. If this isn't done right and things are overlooked, a lot of times the likelihood of you going back to the previous owner to collect is very hard to do, if not impossible, unless there's massive amounts of money involved. So that's a pre-close viewing. I really appreciate you watching the video. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, press the little bell, and if you have any questions about PEI real estate or PEI in general, put them in the comments below.